Hi, I'm Mark from WinningSolutionsInc.com and MicrosoftAccessExpert.com and today I'm going to be showing you the enhanced version of our Microsoft Access Employee Vacation Tracking Database Template. So uh, we're on the screen right now for our uh, more basic version of the template and what I'll be talking about today is the enhanced version. So uh, these templates are fantastic if you are looking to uh, be, build a database around them or incorporate them into an existing database. The uh, vacation, uh, the enhanced version of our vacation tracking database template is a little bit more full featured and you might find it uh, to be pretty much complete and ready to go. And in fact, you may see some features in there that you don't need. And if you do, don't worry about that because when you purchase our templates, for example, when you purchase the basic template here, the non-enhanced version, uh, for $249.99. The enhanced version will be a little bit more expensive. Uh, you get everything a programmer or a person who can uh, design or change around access databases needs. In other words, it's what's called a source code uh, to work with so that you can modify anything you want. So if you don't like the way things are labeled, or there's functions or reports in there that you don't need, once you've purchased the product, you can clear it out. Now, uh, we do offer demo versions of all our templates, as we do here uh, with the standard version of our vacation uh, template. These uh, demo versions are something we strongly encourage you to uh, download and work with before purchasing the product because uh, it is very difficult to uh, return the product since when you purchase it, you receive source code. So we want you to check the product out fully before you purchase it. The demos are fully functional. The uh, only thing that they don't do is when you close the database down, they don't save. So just be sure to do all your testing and enter all your test data, run your reports, uh, run, put it through its paces uh, before you close it and then uh, once you've uh, once you're all set then it's time and you can uh, click on the uh, buy now button so uh, let's uh, jump right into the database here enough time talking about all those uh, little important details so uh, as the uh, database would sound like uh, you first thing you might want to do is, is add a vacation uh, time entry so you can go to this screen and you can pick an employee uh, let's just pick Susan here and you can specify a type of time off. This is going to be a vacation. And uh, you can uh, do some things here to keep track of a, a person to replace Susan. Uh, and then if it would be uh, a vacation where she's just taking uh, half the day off, you could have a start time and a stop time. If this was a recurring uh, type of vacation thing, so much like an Outlook calendar event, you can set recurrence and you can specify an end time. So if we wanted to uh, start start today, uh, and the day is, uh, so let's say it starts at uh, 5 o'clock today, and ends at uh, uh, midnight. So we can just go right here. And we'll just make it 11 p.m. All right. And uh, also, if it's just the person's going to be off the entire day, you can just check that. And if you need to make some notes about uh, the uh, vacation or uh, anything related to this, um, you just click right in here and, and go ahead and enter your notes. When you're done, hit save and close. And the program has pointed out that we need to start date and end date. So, of course, we do. So, we have a nice little date picker right here where we can go get that. And if we want to uh, uh, start uh, today was our plan and go through uh, today. Now let's give it another whirl. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go over to our calendar view. And you see we have uh, Susan's time showing up right here on our calendar view. So let's go ahead and shrink that back down and go back to our main menu here. And uh, let's look next at our calendar setup. So as you saw back there, we had a day view. And so we can, uh, we have a lot of control. So if you, uh, for some particular reason, want to have a different first day of the week, you can specify that right here. Uh, you can control all of these functions, print colors, details, uh, number of hours in a full day off, you know, typically that's eight, but if you have, uh, you know, days where you work four 10-hour days at your business, you can set that up here. Uh, 
all kinds of control. If you want to work with uh, military 24 hour time, you can do that instead of the AM PM stuff. Uh, you can, as you saw, we were on the day view for the calendar. If you want a week view, month view, or bi-weekly view, all of those are supported. Uh, your uh, day formats for uh, entering dates are, are, can be this way or uh, this way. Uh, and your time format in hours and minutes. So a lot of control and all of this is done without any programming or uh, having to you know, get in and mess with any of the code in Access. So that was fine. Um, now let's, uh, if we wanted to look things up in here, we can uh, run searches for things. We can search by type of time off, start dates, end dates, search for a particular employee, um, all kinds of things. So if we just run a search with no criteria, we can see that we've got all these uh, vacations entered into the database right now. So let's close that. That'll take us back to the main menu. Uh, we've got some export capabilities to this as well so that um, you can uh, export to Outlook. So you could uh, pick a particular employee and then you could export their schedule to a file that would load up into Outlook in the Outlook calendar. So rather handy. And uh, if you wanted to, you could do it as a task if you preferred to do that instead of uh, as a calendar event in Outlook. So let's close that. All right, let's, uh, we've already looked at the calendar view. Let's check out uh, maintenance lookups. Okay. So uh, here are the various uh, types of data we're storing about the employees and the uh, vacation events. And so as you can see here, this is where you can uh, name the different departments. So if you are a larger company and you have things categorized by department, you could do that. You could, uh, if you don't need that, you could just not use this feature. Um, or you know, if you're skilled at access and your business doesn't have departments, you can uh, remove this department feature from the, from the database. That's the uh, huge thing about buying an access template versus buying a piece of off-the-shelf software, is by buying this template, uh, you do get the source code um, and you get uh, full control over that so you can modify it um, and if you don't know how to modify access databases there are many many people that do it uh, our company also modifies access databases so that uh, we will modify this for you for a fee you just uh, send us an email telling us what you want the database to do differently and we'll send you back a quote for making that happen for you okay on to the employees here um, as you can see, we have some pretty elaborate information uh, that we're uh, tracking on the employees. Uh, so you've got information about them. Uh, you might have badge numbers in your organization. You might call them something else. You can just change the names of these fields if you like. Um, we're tracking their availability, phone numbers, uh, and so very, very handy. You can also um, enter notes. So uh, you can uh, pop in a note about a meeting. So if your uh, organization um, has meetings with its employees to uh, discuss the reasons for their vacation and then uh, approve them and that sort of thing, uh, this system will uh, connect to a, an email account within your organization, send an email to the employee, and so you'll kind of have a formal record of your meeting with them if that's something you do. Again, if that's not an important feature, you can just remove it or ignore it. And we'll just say OK to that. All right, and uh, we, you can export your, uh, these uh, meetings that you've had with your employees. You can export a list of employees as well. Uh, let's go to locations. If your business has multiple locations, uh, this is where you would specify them. So if you have five different offices in five different states or 10 or 100, uh, that's fine. You can uh, put that right in here. Uh, your time off types, if you don't care for those three time off types or only have two or have a hundred, you can just go ahead and set them up right here. All this is done without any access programming, so that's what we mean about this system is a little bit more full featured than some of the templates, so it may be uh, more or less ready to go for you out of the box when you get it a little bit more like a commercial piece of software. So let's close that. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the uh, licensing. So one of the things we want you to know is that uh, if you purchase this, the uh, regular license is a uh, organization-wide license. So in, I mentioned a minute ago, what if you had five offices in five states? That's fine. You can use it at all five. There's no problem. If you have uh, two employees or 200,000, uh, that's fine. This database is, is licensed for that. Um, there are some expansions that would need to be done to handle that many employees. Uh, but the, uh, you will have everything you need to 
you know, for an experienced uh, access database person to uh, scale the database to do that, or you can come back us to us to scale it to do that, and it's relatively cost effective, and there's, uh, you, you know, no additional licensing fee for that. There's no annual software maintenance fee for this. Um, you buy it, it's a one-time purchase. You can just you know, uh, use it as long as uh, it will you know, work until they change versions of Windows to the point where it doesn't. Uh, but there would be no restriction from winning solutions as to how long you could use um, the product. All right, let's uh, finish up with this uh, import function here. So um, if you did have uh, events, uh, uh, vacations stored in calendars already, uh, this is uh, how you could bring them in and apply them to a certain employee in the database. So that's about it for our enhanced vacation tracking database. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, would encourage you to visit our site if you're looking for other uh, types of templates. We offer quite a few. Uh, we also do custom access development so if you can't find a template that you want uh, you can just put a specification together for it send it to us and we'll get back to you with a price to uh, quote it uh, these access databases are fantastic they're really really powerful um, if you have uh, questions about deploying this or how you might use it there's plenty of ways to contact us on our web page at microsoftaccessexpert.com or winningsolutionsinc.com and we'd be glad to talk with you uh, thanks so much for your time and attention today Thank you.